Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, General Hospital. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. General Hospital's Steve Burton sends a message to fans ahead of Jason's resurrection. I want to say, all products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. February 7 marked Steve Burton's second day back on the set of General Hospital, where he'll be making his on-air return as the late Jason Morgan on Monday, March 4, and the Emmy winner couldn't let the occasion go by without sending a message to his fans. General Hospital Spoilers April 8-12 Day 2 I'm back, he said in a video posted to Daily Drama on YouTube. I want to say thank you to everybody for your kind words, your wishes, your prayers. I appreciate it. And, he added, I hope you have an awesome day. If you squint at it, there may have been more to that last remark than meets the eye. Because on the surface, of course, Port Charles will be thrilled to have Jason back among the living, even if it means that Carly, Sam, and Liz are suddenly forced to question whether they want to continue on with their current boyfriends. But dig a little deeper, and perhaps Burton is sharing his hopes for an awesome day because he knows that dark ones are coming. A theory that is gaining traction among General Hospital fans and even Soaps.com editors is that the individual who has been taking shots at Sonny is his longtime bestie and right-hand man Jason. Read more about that here. Why, you ask? Would Stone Cold take aim at his old pal? We can answer that in a word, brainwashing. You can't rule it out as a possibility on a show that has routinely had Helena Cassidine mess with people's minds and planted Drew's memories into Franco's noggin. I didn't say shoot, I said, aw shoot, look who it is, back from the dead. Again. Plus, if it is Jason who is taking pot shots at Sonny and anyone in his vicinity, it will make the drama all that much juicier with Jagger slash John back in Port Charles, and according to Vanessa Marcel, Brenda not far behind. Read what the Emmy winner said here. Would Sonny's nemesis John step in to keep the mobster who corrupted Karen Wexler breathing? And if not, would he do so if asked to buy lost love Brenda? We can't wait to find out. In the meantime, listen to Burton's daily drama podcast with castmate Bradford Anderson, Spinelli, by clicking above, it's free. Then peruse the below photo album to review the many and varied ways that Jason's homecoming will impact Port Charles. In the bustling world of daytime dramas, few characters wield the kind of influence and evoke the intense emotions that Jason Morgan does on General Hospital. Portrayed by the talented Steve Burton, Jason has captured the hearts of viewers for decades with his unwavering loyalty, complex relationships, and heroic acts. As the show gears up for Jason's highly anticipated resurrection storyline, Burton himself takes a moment to send a poignant message to fans, expressing his gratitude, excitement, and a touch of apprehension for what lies ahead. In a heartfelt video message shared across social media platforms, Burton begins by acknowledging the deep connection fans have with General Hospital and its characters. With sincerity etched in every word, he expresses gratitude for the unwavering support and passion that fans have shown over the years. I want to say thank you. Burton begins, his voice reflecting the genuine appreciation he feels for the loyal audience that has made General Hospital a beloved staple of daytime television. As anticipation mounts for Jason's return, Burton addresses the emotional roller coaster fans may experience as they witness his character's resurrection. With a mix of excitement and humility, he acknowledges the weight of portraying such a pivotal moment in the show's history. I want you to know that we hear you, we feel you, and we're just as invested in this journey as you are, Burton reassures fans, his commitment to delivering an authentic and compelling storyline yeah, evident in his the excitement. Burton doesn't shy away from acknowledging the challenges that come with resurrecting a character as iconic as Jason Morgan. With a touch of vulnerability, he confesses to feeling a mixture of nerves and anticipation about how fans will react to Jason's return. There's always a bit of uncertainty when it comes to bringing back a character like Jason, Burton admits, his honesty resonating with fans who share in the anticipation of what's to come. However, Burton's message isn't just about Jason's return, 
It's about the enduring bond between the cast, crew, and the dedicated viewers who have made General Hospital a cherished part of their lives. We're in this together, he emphasizes, highlighting the collaborative effort that goes into creating the captivating storylines that keep fans coming back for more. As he concludes his message, Burton's words are filled with hope and excitement for the journey that lies ahead. Get ready for an unforgettable ride, he declares, his enthusiasm infectious as he invites fans to join him on this next chapter of Jason Morgan's journey. In a world where the line between fiction and reality often blurs, Steve Burton's heartfelt message serves as a reminder of the profound impact that storytelling can have on both the actors who bring characters to life and the fans who invest their time and emotions in their favorite shows. As General Hospital prepares to welcome back one of its most beloved characters, Burton's message resonates as a testament to the enduring power of connection, community, and the shared love of storytelling that unites fans around the world. Think of Laura? Don't mind if we do. By honoring the iconic Jenny Francis on the anniversary of her General Hospital debut. It's hard to imagine anyone else playing the part, but when Ginny's Francis debuted on General Hospital on February 8, 1977, Laura had already been around in Port Charles for a couple of years. Young Stacy Baldwin, no relation to Scotty, had originated the role, though this early Laura mainly existed to provide drama for Leslie Williams, as she discovered that the daughter that she'd thought had died, er, hadn't. General Hospital Spoilers April 8-12 Frances Laura was an older teen who wasn't just a plot device but a plot driver in her own right. What's more, she didn't just swim with the teen crowd. These were her Scotty days after all, but jumped right into the deep end with the adults. One of the future Emmy winners' first storylines involved Laura being seduced by the creep David Hamilton. An old friend of Laura's stepdad, Rick Weber, David had tried having his way with Leslie as part of some revenge scheme. When she turned him down cold, he moved on to her daughter, and succeeded. In retrospect, poor, broken-hearted Scotty should have seen the writing on the wall at how easily his love was snatched away from him, over and over again. Things didn't end well for that early fling of Laura's. When David revealed that he'd just been using her, she was so furious, she pushed him down and thanks to the soap laws of cause and effect, he hid his head on the fireplace and died. Fireplaces are dangerous, yo. And that was Francis' first year as Laura, a teenage affair with a grown man and a murder all wrapped into one delicious story. You can watch her heartbreaking murder confession to Luke Spencer a couple of years later below. Needless to say, it didn't take long for us to realize that great things were ahead for Francis and her alter ego. And in the past four decades, she does not let us down. Troubling relationships have been something of a hallmark for the character, from her rocky start with Luke and his rape of her, to her kidnapping and forced marriage of Stavros Cassidine. Also, we learned a few years back that Laura was a bit murder-happy in the late 70s, as she also accidentally killed Rick's mistress, Theresa Carver. Over the years, Laura's gone from rebellious teenager and waitress at the campus disco to the freakin' mayor of Port Charles. She's battled supervillains and the mafia, held her ground against mobster Frank Smith and monster Helena Cassidine, and she's gone from angry adolescent to fiercely protective matriarch, raising three kids and oh, being and blessed with that four whole grand most watched daytime event in history thing with Luke and Laura's 1981 nuptials. That's a feat that hasn't been beaten to this day, and let's be honest, likely never will. Or as VPS, better late than never, by checking out our wedding album here. It's impossible to imagine any of this without Francis. That might be why, even though she's come and gone from General Hospital a number of times over the years, the character has never been recast. Francis always returns, each time with Laura a little wiser, a little more self-assured and ready to tackle whatever Port Charles throws at her. While you're here, don't just raise a glass to Francis' accomplishment. Raise a glass and take a stroll down memory lane via the below photo gallery, which revisits her storied history as Laura. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.